take a look at volume profile on the Infinity AT web-based charts. We have a 10-minute E-mini S&P candle chart up, and I'm going to go ahead and move my mouse over to the upper right where the studies area is and click on that for a drop-down menu. I'm going to go down to the area where it says AT colon volume profile to apply the volume profile study, and I'll go ahead and do that and click on that. And you'll see this histogram that's behind the scenes here, which is a you know, typical volume profile that you see. Uh, however, we could customize this in many different ways. So let's go back to studies. And then you'll see we've applied the volume profile. It's at the top now in the drop down menu. And we'll click on that to customize it. And let's do some, stu let's do some changes here. Ba bar height, this is the E-mini S&P. So just for demonstration purpose, we'll, we'll change this to four ticks or, or a point. And you can see in the background how the how the bars get thicker uh, or taller as I do that. And watch, I'll kind of make them smaller again, down to two ticks uh, per bar. We'll leave it at two ticks per bar. POC length, what that does is it basically expands or contracts the length of the entire uh, profile proportionately. So we're going to make this a little bit smaller. And you can see it's shrinking proportionately. Uh, on the back, giving us more visual space to look at the chart. Uh, the uh, value area basically is calculated on 70% uh, or one standard deviation. We'll leave that alone, and opacity helps us, depending on what our background is, see the bars more clearly. I'm going to change that to 75. The next thing I'm going to do is I am going to click on the numbers box. I'm going to click on the numbers box because I want to see the numbers in the actual charts. And I'm going to hit done for now and kind of adjust my chart so we can see them better here by positioning my mouse in the middle of the screen and grabbing it and just dragging it over. And if you're using an iPad or a phone, you can do that with your finger. Um, so here we have a typical volume profile uh, based on the, today's action. And, you know, each one of these histogram bars represents two ticks and the volume that's occurred of trades that actually occurred within those two ticks. And you can see here the point of control is around uh, 37,776 contracts so far today. It's early in the morning. It's only about 835 Chicago time. Now we could do some more customization if we like. Let's go back to the studies, uh, volume profile. And <clears throat> let's say that I would like to highlight the value area and point of control with lines on my chart. There's, a, there's an area here, it's called lines. I click you know, on that box to activate it. And let's hit done and we'll see what happens. So it kind of extends the lines onto the chart. And so you can kind of see it graphically throughout your candle formation. Here's the top of the value area bottom of the value area and point of control. More customizations. Let's go ahead and click on this. And let's say that we want to hide the profile in, in, in a way that we just see the, the value, the, the, the numbers, and the lines. So I could click on that and make that go away. So now what we've done is we've taken away the histogram, but we added points of control and value area there if that's something you're interested in. And of course, you can get rid of these numbers also. If you just want the value area lines themselves, you can just go ahead and remove the numbers, and then you'll end up with that. Hope that helps, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you find these videos helpful.